everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. To kickstart this week, I've got these really fun perfume bottles to share. They're super easy to make, they're pretty quick as well, and I'm sure you should all be able to make these, you know, with the supplies that you already have in your craft room. So I've got a variety of sizes. I'm going to be making this one today because I think this is just my favourite and I guess it's almost five by seven. It's five here and it's about six and three quarters in height. The other two, I'm going to share these dimensions over on my blog. This one's lovely. This is a four by, I think it's about eight and a half. It should be about eight. That could have come down a little bit more, but yeah, it will fit in a four by eight envelope if you just obviously don't go as high as I have there, but really lovely. I'll show you the cardstock and things that I've used in a moment and then inside there just got the birthday wishes and you can still I've just covered the back there as well so it looks nice from both sides you could do the bottle again on this side you know you could do the back side of it you know there's there's obviously many ways to adapt it to suit your needs I've got this mini one which I really like and then inside there you've got birthday wishes and then this one here which is like I said the one that we're going to share and show today and then again birthday wishes really really lovely so let's crack on and make these okay so I've already cut all my bits to size there. The card stock I'm using is the Mermaid and Unicorn card pack by Dovecraft. Try not to get the glare on there. You get one of each sheet, 250 GSM, and these are all of the colours that you get here. And then if you don't have that one, or you know, you're going to buy these and you, you don't know the other ones, there's also the Tropical card pack. And these are just more vibrant colours, so you've got those ones there as well. All the links, as always, will be over on my blog, and you can also pop over to my Amazon storefront where everything's linked there. They are affiliate links, which basically just means if you buy via my link, I get a small commission. No extra charge to you or anything like that, and I do try and make sure I add the ones that are the best value. So, you know, I do do all the kind of the hard work for you, um, and I will only recommend the product that I use. Um, so, yeah. That's that one. Then for the silver, I've used the A4 Premium Mirrored card, again by Dovecraft. I've got a mix of the holographic in there. You can see the difference between the holographic and the normal silver. You see there, look at all the rainbow colours you get. So yeah, it's kind of my scrap little um, wallet there now. And then to decorate the lids, or the little, um, yeah, the tops of your perfume bottles, I've just got these um, silver ones here and then to do these two I used the jewels simply creative you get 300 and they were from the works quite recently before I started to share the what did I get I don't think I shared this one in one of those videos anyway you get really nice just tones of purples so they worked really well for those ones and then for the sentiments these just worked really, really well. And these are the, from Rosie's Studio. This is the puffy sticker, and this one's the foam sticker. Again, I'll share links, but they just are really, really good. And obviously there are some um, branded perfume bottles that just have these single words, which some of you will probably know. So that's where I've got the inspiration there. And these just worked really well for that. So I think this one today, maybe I might do another, another lovely. Maybe smile. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll see when I get to it. So let's just pop them neatly to one side. Like I said, very, very straightforward to do. You want to cut a piece of, well, like this was a six by six pre made card base, and I just cut it down to five by five. Okay, so if you don't have a pre made six by six, all you want is a piece of 10 by 5 and then along the 10 inch side you want to score at 5 inches. Fold it in half and that will give you your card base. And then I, everything that I show you I have gone along and just rounded off the corners with the size large X cut little corner punch there. Okay, Again I'll share that link as well. So you need one of those. And then it's just really all about matting and layering the card. So there is no technical skill to this or anything like that it's really really easy to make so this is the silver card stock you'll need two pieces one for inside and one on the top and this is your your largest mat and this is four and three quarters squared so two pieces of that then I'm going to go for this beautiful it's almost like a I guess a champagne color it's just stunning really nice and it's like a brushed a brushed kind of texture so this is four and a half squared so you'll want one in that whatever colour it is you're using and then you'll want another four and a half squared but in plain white to go inside so you can see here this is your mat and layer to go on the top and then this is your mat and layer to go inside the card and you will have a really nice frame 
on each one so that's like that and then to decorate the very top this is a piece of three and three quarters squared to mat to layer on top of that is three and a half squared okay so that one will go there and then inside the middle then to make the actual little kind of like I said lid you've got these here now these are from um, let me just grab yeah just here they're just rectangle stitch dies um, I've got a feeling these are from the works a while ago um, I've used this size and right, this is when you have that kind of fear that all the scraps and I've just thrown this small one in the bin so I'm gonna have to have a look in a minute but I'll give you the measurements anyway you just basically want you know a a rectangle shape shape that you can you know just die cut or cut yourself on your trimmer this is two by one and a quarter all right so i've got two pieces one for the front one for the back and then the smaller size here which is going to be for the the neck kind of perfume neck and this is one and a half by three quarters again you want two roughly that kind of size i mean like i said if you're cutting them yourself then that's easy to do so now we just put it all together okay so first of all i'm just going to go and put all of these mats and layers down Okay, so that's the front there again. It just looks like you're making a, you know, just a normal card. It's these bits here that transform it and make it look like a perfume bottle. So what you want to do is I'm just going to lie this on its side. So now it's top facing. Now you can have, um, or top folding. Oh, I haven't stuck them in. I'll do that in a sec. Um, you can have it this way. If you do, then you want to stick these pieces in before you put your mats and layers down. So if you can see there, because what will happen if you stick it on the back, when that opens up, this bit will kind of you know angle towards you whereas if you stick it underneath that first silver mat here then when it opens it you know looks up at you which is how you want it to stay all right so again you might prefer that look overall even with it being you know side opening you might want to have that underneath there it's entirely up to you so play around like I said it doesn't really make too much of a difference when it's a side folding card but certainly when it's a top folding you want to make sure it's underneath that silver piece so this is going to be this way and this is going to stick inside like this and then this is going to go over the top now you can have it quite high up you see there that gives it a different look again it looks like quite a well-known bottle or if you bring it down quite short again it still looks great they still look like perfume bottles I think because perfume bottles are pretty much made in so many different styles and shapes now that as long as you've kind of got this kind of shape on the card then it will look like a perfume bottle but it's entirely up to you obviously you want to make sure you're going to get it in an envelope so because this is five I want this to only go up to seven inches on the top here. So I'm just going to line it up on my grid. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can go up to there. That's why I've been doing about six and three quarters, just so I make sure it will fit inside my envelope. So I'm going to keep it around there. And if I just bring in this one next to it, see that one's a little bit lower, but look, they both still look really good. So yeah, so what you want to do is add, I'm just going to add a little bit of, red tape to the top of this piece and take it out for a second just trim that piece off okay and I'm gonna just pop it back in okay, and keep it all lined up on my grid just so I know I'm staying in the right height and just want to make sure this stays in the middle one two one two and then in the middle here so it's gonna be about there and then that's going to go nicely in the middle, just there. Okay, and then I'll open this one up. Run a couple of strips. This is just the um, quarter of an inch. It's probably a little bit shorter than that, actually. Again, keep everything nice and lined up like that. Open it up, and then I'm going to stick this one down first. Like so, and then this one I've put some foam adhesive. I just liked it, just thought it looked nice just to give the, the top there a bit of dimension. Like so. Okay, so there is the, the, the base really of the, the bottle. It's all down to decoration now. So I have got the silver embellishments 
and this one here and again I think I'm going to use yeah I like this lovely I'm going to use this one here I'm going to just stick that one might have it on a little angle actually like so not that great and then these actually end up fitting so all I've done is cut four up and then I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like, yeah, so seven, seven um, of these flat back um, embellishments across the length and then four in the width. And these ones measure, if you've got something similar, the five mil ones, because I think that's how they're measured, these kind of things. Let me just see what it says on there. It doesn't say, oh, they're saying six mil, there you go. I'm obviously a little bit out there. Yeah, I guess it is, yeah, six mil. And then I can just peel off the strip of four. To do it that way, actually, because that one's missed it. Like so. And then I can just stick them. Like so. And I start from the outside and work my way in. So go to the opposite side, and that way you know that you won't end up, you know, clumping them all together at one end. And then it will be kind of wonky like so and there you go how cool is that and you can make this any size you could do circular cards you could do hexagon cards rectangle cards you get it triangle whatever and just add something like this onto the top and it will create the look of a perfume bottle so there you go there are my four really pretty perfume bottles perfect for any um, body who you know loves glitter and makeup and perfume and all those kind of lovely things yeah I think they're just really nice like I said I've I've changed my my mind on them now I was a bit unsure when I started these but um, I guess because it's a little bit blingy for me I don't tend to maybe do this much shimmer and shine but I absolutely love them now especially this one I really like that one I think it's really cute anyway there you go hope I've inspired you can't wait to see your perfume bottles this week and uh, yeah I'll be back again soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye